to the four sending parallels of x. Now, if you forget the binomial theorem in an exam, you can always go, okay, 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1. You now revert back to just multiplying. Like the first two brackets first, and then multiply that answer by this, and then multiply that answer by that, and you get the same answer. You're, you forget the theorem. You're using the theorem. Uh, so that imagine you, you have remembered the theorem. Uh, you can go to the general term, or you can use Pascal's triangle. So the general term is probably the one that's maybe the most useful. Uh, so the first term is zero here, is zero term. And there are two terms in the binary First one is going to be the four, and the second one is going to be the zero. That's the first term, always. Next term, four, one. Two x goes to three, it goes down one, one comes up one. Four choose two. two. Uh, two x goes to two, one comes up one, and then eventually we get there. Uh, now, the, from Pascal's triangle, these numbers you could just remember as well, because it's the one, four, six, etc. But this is a, uh, oh, it's not non factor so you would have to remember Pascal's triangle. The next one you don't have to remember. Next one. Okay, so, uh, answers, uh, so, 2x to the 4, is uh, that's 16x4 that's one plus uh 832x cubed for the next term that's four times eight is 32. this one's going to be six times four is 24 x squared the next one then it would be four times 2x to be 8x to 8x and then plus one if you did the mouse fully. Yeah? Okay. Hopefully we got that. Okay, so that was the first one. I don't know if you got that. If you wrote if you got this now, because you have to use Pascal's triangle, you wouldn't be able to do these numbers. But if you wrote that much, you get um two or three months out of the fun. Probably two months. And if you start try to do it out, then you get three, and if you got fully out, you get five. Okay. All right, let's look at the second question, question two. Consider the expansion. First of all, hopefully it's an easy mark, the first one. So, uh, Julian, perhaps you can tell us, write down the number of terms in that expansion. Six, yeah. So it's the power of five, and then that means there's going to be six terms. That's okay. Uh, term containing x cubed. Well, this is where we go straight, and you can use the calculator. You go straight to the general term. General term half is going to be five and something. Not sure yet what. That's x. The first term in the binomial is x. The second term in the binomial is two. Um, all right. So the x cubed term. Well. Is it as easy as just going here? Yes, I think so. Uh, and I know that these two powers have to add to five. This power comes in here in my general term. I think if you just work this out, you have the answer. Uh, if I choose two, 10, 10, 10, okay, calculator would be that. 10 times x cubed times, well, four is here at the end. But 40. Okay, nice. Again, that'll be an example of an early question in the paper and quite a common question. As you'll see, because question three is almost identical. Well, no, it's not almost identical. It's entirely All right. Next one. Okay. Uh, 
right? Number of turns, the expansion, well, it's eight, not four. Number of turns, nine, happy with that? Okay. RP, find the coefficient of x4. Ah, okay. So go to your general term. I know that's eight. I know that's x cubed, or yes, x cubed to the power of something. I know that's two over x. Okay. Writing that, that's automatically just one mark. Okay, so hopefully you're at, at that stage where you can write that. Now I need to form x4. It's a little bit where the difficulty comes in, isn't it? Because that's going to be three times something divided by x to the power of something. Anyone come up with what that this power might be? Any ideas? Yeah? Three? Okay, if that is three, that makes that has to be five. Okay, so that's going to give me nine. Three times three is nine. This is going to have five at the bottom. So it's going to look like x9 divided by x5. I know my rules of indices. Nine take away five is four. So that's right, Jeff. Okay, so yeah. And if this is five, this is five. Okay. And if you weren't sure what to do and which one it is in the exam, just uh, do out a few or do out the whole thing if you have time. Maybe just skip it and come back and do out the whole thing. All right, so we already know that's x9. This one is x9. A choose 5. I can't remember what it is. Anyone know what it is? A choose 5? 56. Calculator, yeah. anyway. And 2 to the power of 5, I do know, is 32. 32 over x to the 5. Okay, so the 5 and the 9 do make x to the 4. We know that. But now I need to multiply 32 times 56. Of course, you can do it in calculator. One seven nine two. One seven nine two. Excellent. That was the end of the the three more basic ones, I think. All right. Uh, who did the challenging ones? Little hands. Couple of people. Okay. Uh, those people who did the challenging and more difficult ones, you can. I'm gonna. Ask you to show me them and I'll see if you have them right. The rest of you guys get get on. Well, I'll put off. You work together to try and figure out something. Let's leave off those three. These three. This is question five, six, and seven. You didn't do one of these questions. Sir? See those three? Okay, so work with somebody that you're normally in the same class and try and get through these, and I'll look at something that shows you. Please, one second. Sir? Uh, do you want to do any other ones? I can't do that one there. Oh, my God. Oh, good. What happened? Yeah, I'll check your answers in a second. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording now. Sure, call it. Uh, but, oh, sorry, have you gone silent? Was... Um, I have a question for the um, 3A, I think, the number of terms. Is it that? Yes. The, the one in the bracket? Is it the number in the bracket? So it, is it yeah, like is this? it that whole? No, is it that whole? Nine, thing? Always one more. Wait, I'm so confused. It starts at zero. Remember, uh, this number starts at zero and must go all the way up to eight. No, 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 the one before it, the question before it. Zero term. 
the question any other, for it. Any other question? Question four? No, no, no. Uh, three A, it's asking the number of terms. Like Yes, nine. Wait, how is it nine? Yeah, because there's always one more. Uh, if you think about it, I'll show you this. If you think about one that we know for sure, so x plus one oh, oh, squares. So we can do this. This we already know is x plus one times x plus one. So that's x squared plus x plus another x plus one. Multiply it out. That gives x squared plus two x plus one. Okay, just multiply it out with quadratic. How many terms are there? One, two, three. But it was to the power of two. Okay, got it. And that's, it follows that system the whole way. Because if it's x plus one to the power of one, it's just x plus one, which has two terms. Okay. One thing. There's always one more than the power. Okay, got it. Thank you. Uh, for questions, uh, the other questions, I'll be putting answers up later so i won't uh so try and work through some of those other questions how many did you do i just did like the first part because i was struggling a bit okay we'll try those other ones now and uh the one that you put on the